Over the past few hours, something very interesting has happened. We are seeing on the GPS data from the Swartzengi volcanic system on the Swartzengi itself, a sharp decline. It was after we had a steady rise, almost, a rise sharply toward the uh, 120, then falling down toward the uh, minus 60. These are the units of millimeter of land rise. Then again, a fall. This is the sequence similar to what we saw before the first eruption in the December of 2023. The land rise and fall. Fall when is the magma is going out, uh, flowing freely. Rise when the pressure is building up. The exit point is very minuscule or nothing existing. So the land swells up, inflates. When the inflation starts, stops it means that the magma is flowing easily this is in the grindavik rift valley this is the name i've given to it where we have the pulling apart of the eurasia and north america or america's plate creating a budding age and creating these systems of the uh, volcanic systems one of them is this grindavik uh, rift valley and sourcing volcanic system we have a, a cluster of the earthquakes right now appearing. We don't see that much on the tremors chart, harmonic tremors, neither on this one. This is too early probably. The weather is bad. We have a low pressure. That means the air movements causing vibration in the ground, which our seismic grounds also pick up. But eventually we will have something like this, an eruption which creates a fissure. This is the smaller eruption compared to what we had with this uh, uh, fourth Sunduka crater eruption, which created a K1 volcano for two months almost it was erupting. This coming one will be a short one, but intensive and give a magnificent display. A sharp rise next day or two days later off.